Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. You might be getting some pretty candid videos out of me with my whole pregnancy. I literally just woke up from a nap and sat up and I decided I wanted to film. So that's where I'm at. I'm feeling okay, but I wanted to do a quick video about FabFitFun. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, so we're in the thick of the fall season, but according to FabFitFun, we need to start talking winter, right? So the sale is coming up, the add-on sale and customizations for the winter boxes. And FabFitFun, you may or may not have seen, I think some other people have done videos about it and they posted on their uh, community forum, forum, FabFitFun posted on their community forum, a big, huge, giant spoiler, and it looks pretty awesome. So I'm gonna do the thing I usually do when I talk about the sales is that I record my screen so I can show you the information and uh, we will go over what the spoiler is and then also I wanted to point out to you in case you didn't notice that there was a pretty significant change to the add-on sale shopping windows. I just thought I would bring that to your attention as well in case you hadn't seen it. Things seem to be looking really promising for the winter sale so far and I think it's really amazing that they dropped such a crazy spoiler so soon. Well, anyway, I'll get into that when I record my screen. Um, as far as my pregnancy, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I had a few days off from symptoms, which was nice, but symptoms kind of came back today, which is also nice because I mostly, the most, the most I'm feeling about it is just the fears and anxieties in my head. Um, otherwise, physically, it's pretty tolerable. Um, Anyway, so let's get into recording my computer screen and let's get back to talking FabFitFun. Okay, so here we are. This is the FabFitFun homepage. I am going to, they have these banner images scrolling across, so I'm going to go back. We're going to talk about the change to the add-on shopping window first. So this calendar represents when uh, select members can shop and then here is when seasonal members can shop and I believe also select members can shop during this green uh, window right here but if you go to the home page and you catch this banner and you click on learn more it takes you to this really detailed community post about the changes this first one is um, changes to the billing dates so these are both really important changes to pay attention to uh, for this upcoming sale so uh, let's see the first is they're moving to three separate billing dates it says it right here uh, it will reduce they're saying it'll make it better that's what these next few sentences say so the billing dates are group one all select uh, so that's all annual members um, group two non-select and then group group three non-select members that don't fall into group two Okay, so that those people, we will all be billed separately at separate times. So that's an interesting change, and I'm trying to figure this out too because I, I've, I thought I saw something different about a month ago, but I'm figuring this out here with you right now. Um, and so the second notable change is that there are two separate access windows, which I just mentioned for the add-ons and customizations. So... The first one is that select access add-ons and customization window will be exclusively for select members. If you are an active select member, you must customize during this window. And then the second one is that all access add-ons and customization window will open after select access close, not closes. Non-select members will have the exclusive opportunity to customize their box during this window. During this window, non-select members can shop add-ons which will ship with their current ship with their winter box. Oh, oh, okay. Please note that while select members do have access to shop add-ons in the all access window, so in that green window, they may only purchase the specified max of the same item between both sales. 
For example, if a certain product has a max of three and a select member purchased one of the product in the select access add-on window, they would only be allowed to purchase two more of that, that product. Okay. Okay. So, so we can't, uh, select members can shop during both windows, uh, but I suppose, but we will be billed. So we could we we could be billed twice if we purchase more in the next window. Okay. Okay, it's it's becoming clear. This is something that I don't know that everybody's noticed and I I really don't understand why FabBitFun doesn't actually send an email to everybody. They post these really important updates on their forum, but we don't get emails. So that's why I always stress to you guys that it's really important to check out the community forum. Excuse me, I'm getting winded. And that's one of the things that happens sometimes um, during this pregnancy for me. So I'm sorry about that. So um, that is a really big significant change that I wanted to point out to you. I will put the link to this community post in the description box below. Um, so there's that. That is, this one's huge. So I don't know that everybody would have seen this. So I wanted you guys to see that. Now, the next one that's much more exciting and fun to talk about is if you go to the community forum. So the way you get to the community forum here, I'll show you. I'll go back to fabbitfun.com. So this is the main website. So as a reminder, you get to the community forum by going to this little bu uh, button or link right there that says community. And you can see it's like the top thread that just keeps on staying on top. So it is the first winner box of spoilers. So I'm going to click it. And there are, oh, you can see I've been reading some of the thread. But let's go to back to the top. So in the if you're reading a thread, it'll automatically bring you to where you stopped reading it. So that's what happened there. So at the very top, there are five uh, five products here and this is one customization so that is a big difference too. five products I've never seen five products in a customization before so we can choose one or more of these things right you can always add for a really great price more of the items if you want so the first thing is the Kate Somerville goat milk moisturizing cream this I know that from what I've heard people really really love this moisturizing cream. I try to steer clear of Kate Somerville because I'm trying to be fairly strict with cruelty free. And although Kate Somerville is cruelty free, they are owned by Estee Lauder and Estee Lauder, <laughs> excuse me, is not cruelty free. But that aside, I have heard wonderful things about this product. If you're not doing that and you want to uh, try it out, I've heard great things about it. <sighs> excuse me. <laughs> This blanket looks really, really nice, and I heard that the um, it's faux fur and that it's meant to mimic chinchilla, which if you've ever pet a chinchilla, you know it is one of the softest furs you have ever felt in your life. So um, I'm actually probably going to get this one, the blanket. It looks really, really nice, and it's also something that if you... <laughs> I'll probably keep it in my closet as um, an emergency gift. Um, <clears throat> this looks like a really, really lovely candle. I'm one of those people where if I can't smell it and it's something that's specifically for scent, I won't buy it. I don't buy candles in the sales and I don't buy perfumes in the sales, but this is a beautiful luxury candle. If you love candles, wouldn't blame you if you got that one. Um, oh, I'm not reading. Okay, so so the first one was Kate Somerville. This one is Unhide. That's the brand. And then, okay, so then the candle is by Jonathan Adler. And I will put the link to this post in the description box as well, too. You can see that a lot of people have been commenting. There are 807 comments. And then the second to last thing is this Rebecca Minkoff hat and glove set. If you live where it's cold, I wouldn't I would imagine you would want that too. And then the last thing is R&Co, their television uh, shampoo and conditioner. Now, 
I tried R & Co moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. I got it in a summer sale, I believe, and I used it. And I liked it, except for I did not like the scent. It was heavily perfumed and it was kind of that artificial, chemically perfumey smell. And I did not like the way my hair smelled after I used it until I washed it again when, if I was using it, I was, you know, of course it was just gonna smell like that again. Um, so I, I have yet to have my socks knocked off by R & Co. But that said, I have seen people post on the forum that their salon uses R & Co. and they are in love with R & Co. R & Co. is amazing, but it is, and, and it's also a salon quality brand and salons have it. So what I would recommend if you're not sure is try to see if there's a salon in your area that carries R & Co. and go in and smell this. I did also hear that this particular shampoo and conditioner of theirs has a pretty strong, almost masculine smell. So um, definitely look into the scent of this one before you go ahead and purchase it. So there are the spoilers. We get to choose one or more of these five wonderful things. So I am pretty, I'm, I, things are looking pretty good for this sale. It's pretty exciting. Um, and then I wanted to point out there was another YouTuber who also does FabFitFun videos, and she started a thread where she posted a video that she did about the spoilers, like right after they dropped. I think they dropped a couple of days ago, and I'm looking for it here. I'll also link this below. Her YouTube channel name is Everything Proof. If you're subscribed to me, you're probably subscribed to her. She basically summarized what the reviews looked like for each item. So you could go ahead and check her video out and this thread out as well. Uh, yeah, so uh, let comment below. What do you guys think? What are you gonna get? This is pretty exciting. They dropped a really big fun spoiler a whole week before any shopping opens. So I'm excited. Anyway, I hope that this video was help helpful for you. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.